First things first, let's get rid of these stupid decals they got on there, in the back there, and there's some on the side over here. Get all these off here. And then uh, I got seat cover, so I might just wrap that up today, this weekend. And then uh, tomorrow I'm gonna clean this thing all off. I'm debating on whether I wanna peel these off too. Um, we'll see. Kawasaki one off there too. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use two of my Sun F tires that I got up there. Where are they at? Can see them. There's two right there. But let's start tearing this thing down. Getting an idea of what it needs. Kind of go from there. underneath. Let's see if we can make it all look like that. Maybe a little bit of a challenge, but you can see. I'm gonna try to pop that out. Heat that up. Look how shiny that is. <laughs> It'll all stay that way. It'll be nice. So, let me go ahead and see if I can heat this little bump out of here. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty creased in right there. So, we'll see what we can do with that right now. Set you guys up. Mm. Let's put you back where you were.
So you got it popped out. Just go heat it up a little bit and stick that hammer under there and it just pops right back. Do a little more finesse here. Just to kind of make it look even in there. Push it on there. Yeah, and then she came back right, she popped right back out. I'm gonna power wash this tomorrow because I got some stuff to do today and I'm gonna dress everything it needs. Um, I don't know where that wire goes from. get another cable here and crimp that or just pop that open and put that back on. But yeah, just heat it up. If you guys get cement plastics and just kind of heat it up where it's at underneath there and push up on it. And you know, I always heat the top first just to make it a little more pliable and then come underneath and pop it up. And I mean, it's, it's back to normal pretty much. I mean, it might be a little bit of a low spot right there, but we'll work that out. You can see where the old plastic decals were. So nice and shiny. I wish the whole bike was like that, but you get what you pay for, right? It looks pretty good in there. Uh, no broken welds, and I can see the no swing arm, which is good. But uh, let's get these skid plates off. I'm gonna hang on to this one, and I have extra just plastic OEM ones I'm gonna stick on there. Um, see, I bought my bike, it had nerf bars like these, but the skid plate from Amazon didn't have cutouts here for it. But this is a nice plate, it's got the little, you know, ramps up there to protect stuff. Um, that water pump looks like it's been wet. Oh yeah, that water pump is leaking. Joy, yes, he is leaking. Definitely doing a water pump on this one. Yeah, you can see. Right down there, it's wet. So it's definitely leaking. So. Alright, let's get these skid plates off.
today. Get this thing power washed.
cleaned up. It's pretty dirty. I mean, if the wet sand was plastic, it's pretty good. But uh, I think we're gonna need a decal kit for that. Get this wire, looks like it's been spliced in there. What they did here, I'll have to go through all that. Got an extensive parts list, that's for sure. First thing as far as I'm gonna get it running again, check compression. Definitely cleaned up good though. Looks a lot better. That side, that side's pretty dirty, huh? charge up this battery tonight and see if we can get a better compression reading on it later today see what happens right now we're at like 135 we should be at least 140 I mean, that's not horrible but i think the uh battery's going dead all right we're gonna do another compression test here battery's charged up some so let's see what we got so this is where we're at 30 through about 140 We got good compression, so. I got two tires that were for my wife's bike, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use those. I ordered two front tires. I ordered a little rubber mount for this. I ordered some new grips. I ordered a new air filter. I ordered this new wire here, so it'd be the whole negative side wire. Cause this, this mounts up to that. So it'll have this pigtail and then a new wire. Um, we'll just go ahead and eliminate that one there. Uh, I got the tubes coming. I got a battery hold down coming for in the plastics with the two bolts for that. I got a new coolant tank coming. I ordered two new bolts for that. Uh, what else? I have some fuel line hose. I'm just gonna use some uh, regular fuel line hose rather than uh, buying the one that comes down and over because it's just too much money. I got a new pet cock coming. I've got, what else do we got coming? A uh, new water pump, new clutch cover gasket. I've got some miscellaneous nuts and bolts, I think. And that should be it. Um, and I'll just have to put this back up there. This just needs a screw, but I'll take that off and clean that out. I'm sure that's dirty. I don't even know if that's an OEM herb. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, that's an OEM carb. Um, but she definitely cleaned up good. Um, it was pretty uh, caked down there with stuff, so I don't know. The guy just didn't look like he took care of his stuff, but she cleaned up all right. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off. I may just leave the nerf bars on there. Um, or I may take them off. I don't know. I'm still kind of deciding what to do. Um, but we got a new gas cap coming. This one is just missing, not missing, but that should be attached to that. 
There's some other parts down in there. So, that's where we stand with this thing. Um, I'm not gonna put a skid plate on the back there. Uh, it's gonna put me way over budget. Um, I'd rather try to save this exhaust and uh, put it on my bike. And then uh, just find an OEM one to put back on here. Uh, I don't wanna put it on my bike just yet. Uh, maybe down the road, but I'd like to at least keep that exhaust. So uh, if it's not in the budget, I may just swap mine out and put it on there and just put that one on mine, polish it up, get it all cleaned up, make it look nice. I do have some plastic welding to do. Um, I really hate this front bumper, just the way it's up like that. I wish it was down, but you know, at least straight, but whatever. Um, seat was, I tore the cover off there just to see. It's got some gouges in there. I think we'll be all right with the new cover on there. And then the plastics need to be cleaned up really good. Um, I think that should do it for now, but I got a whole bunch of parts coming, so. Uh, there was like almost 200 bucks worth of OEM parts and then some Amazon, some eBay parts. So, uh, still need to get coolant, still need to get oil. I think I'm just gonna go use the uh, green coolant. I'm not gonna use this engine ice. Uh, the engine ice for this size bottle is 22 bucks. I'll go see, this is a half gallon. I mean, I can get a gallon of regular antifreeze for a lot cheaper than that. So I think we're just gonna go with the green antifreeze in this because the bike is green, so why not? Anyway, that's where we are with this thing. Uh, I was pressure washing it a good part of the day kind of going over everything, making sure I got everything, so. Um, yeah, that's where we're at with this. So, stay tuned for some more videos.